Hey what is up everyone, welcome back to a brand new Roblox Studio video, I hope everyone is having an amazing day, and in today's tutorial video I'm going to be showing you how to make a badge only door in Roblox Studio. So how the system will work is if the player owns a badge which we select, the door will be open or the part will be open so people can walk through just like a door. But if they do not have the badge, then the door will stay closed, basically meaning they cannot access that exclusive area or that special area. But if you do own the badge and you do have been awarded the badge, you will then be able to access that secret area and go through that badge door. So for starters, you're going to want to make sure Explorer and Properties are enabled. If they're not enabled already, you want to head up to the top bar here, click on View and enable Explorer and Properties, and they should show up somewhere over your screen. You then want to click back on Home, and then you want to go and insert your part, which is going to be used as our door. So now that we've gone and created our part, which the players will be able to access if they have the badge, we want to go and customize it. So for this tutorial, I'll go and use a go and customize it by changing the color. So now that you've customized your part, you want to go click back on your part and then you want to go over to where it says name and we want to go and change our part name to something that we, we will remember. So I'm going to change this to badge only door. Now this name will be valuable for when we actually go and change the parts in the code. So you want to make sure that you use something that you will remember. Once you've done that, you want to head over to start a player. Then we want to click on the arrow down next to start a player and then we want to click on start a player scripts, then click on the plus button and insert a local script. So now that you've inserted your local script in Starter Player Scripts, you want to go down to the description of this video, copy and paste the code that is in the description, bring it back to Roblox Studio, and then paste in the new code. So if you're wondering, okay, how do I actually get my badge ID and how do I create a badge? So you can do this in two different ways. You could go to the main Roblox page, click on create, select your game, then go to associated items. But an easier way to do this is just to go back to your game just here, click on game settings, monetization, then you want to click create next to badge and as you guys can see i've already got a badge created so that doesn't matter for us right now but let's say we didn't have a badge and we still need to go and create a badge we want to click on create and now this will take us to a individual website on your browser whatever internet browser you're using on your browser anyway you want to go and insert a file which the badge icon is going to be so let's say you have a meter developer badge you want to go and put in your meter developer badge icon there but if you don't already have a image for that you can always change that later on you can go put some random image in, in there for now then you want to go and insert the badge name so you could go and do a meter developer for example and then you just want to add maybe a little bit of a description description but it's not necessary so once you've gone and filled out those areas you then want to click on preview and as you guys can see, it will give us a preview on what our badge will look like. And obviously your image won't load straight away because it still has to be pended by Roblox to make sure it is completely safe to actually upload to the website. But as you guys can see, there's our badge name and my badge is just called badge. And then if you had a bit of a description, it would be shown here. You then want to click on purchase for zero Robux because badges are completely free. I'm pretty sure the first five badges are free and then you pay, I think it's 100 Robux Per additional batch I can't actually fully remember I don't know if that is true or not but I'm I'm sure it is something like that so make sure to that you actually use your badges correctly and that you don't go and waste badges now that you've created your badge you want to head back to Roblox Studio so as you guys can see we're now back in Roblox Studio and as you guys can see I've already got a badge here called Panda now what you want to do you won't see your badge here straight away so you want to click, click on refresh because this will now make the system check if there is any new badges. And as you guys can see, there is, there is a new badge here. And there's the icon, it is the kind of the Roblox down image, by the way. But anyway, there's our badge. You wanna then go next to your badge and click on the three dots and click copy ID to clipboard. So we wanna go and copy this ID of our badge right here, copy ID to clipboard, click X up here. And then we wanna go back to our local script, change this ID to your new badge ID. So now that you've inserted your badge ID, that is all we need to do on line one. We then want to head to line two where it says local badge door. Here we're basically identifying on what our badge door is. So as you guys can see, I've made a bit of a note here says, saying change badge door to whatever your part is called, which will open if the player has the badge. Now we don't actually have a door called badge door, but as you guys remember, the part that we created earlier, which we were going to use for our badge door is actually called badge only door. So what we would want to do, we would go and want to go and uh, uh, double click on the badge door here, delete that text. Then you want to go and write in whatever your door is actually called. So as you guys remember, our one is called badge only door. So you start typing your one and it should show up here just like that. And then you want to click on enter. And as you guys can see now the game dot the workspace dot wait for child badge only door. We are basically making the system 
wait for the child of the workspace, which is called badge only door. But you want to go and change this name right here to whatever your part is called, which the player is going to be able to access if they have the badge. So the only things you actually really need to change are the badge ID and what your part name is actually called, which the player will be able to access if they have the badge. Basically what happens here is the system checks if the person does have the badge and if they do, then the badge door dot transparency is set to one. Keep, on, keep in mind the door part transparency is set to zero on default, basically meaning it is not see-through, but the transparency is set to one, which is the the amount, the, the most amount of transparent it can actually get because that it one is basically see-through. So if you wanted to make it 0 0.5, you can go and change it to 0 0.5. So if the player has the badge, then the badge door drop transparency would equal 0 0.5. Now on default, I've just got it to one simply because you want it to be an open door for anyone who does actually have the badge. Now you don't want to actually go and change anything here on line 11 because basically what we are doing is we are setting the badge door can collide to false basically meaning the player can walk through the part. If this was set to true, for example, then the player would not be able to walk through the part, but the transparency would be one, basically meaning it would be almost like an invisible wall. But obviously you want the player to be able to walk through that part to be able to access that special area. So you would wanna keep this at false. So depending on how often you want the system to check if the player has the badge, you're able to adjust this wait time right here. On default, we've got it at three as that's an ideal time to kind of give the system also time to process the other scripts. And this basically doesn't apply too much pressure onto the system so that it's overloaded. So three is an ideal time to keep it at because by the time three seconds is up, the player will have access to that area. But basically this is just keeps the system checking if the player has the badge and if they do, obviously the door will open. If they don't, the door will keep closed. Now keep in mind, obviously you do need to have a way that the person can actually get the badge. So for example, let's say there is a meter developer badge and they actually have to meet the developer of the game to be able to get the badge to access this area. But for this tutorial, I've just gone and added an E to get a badge. So if a player hold down, holds down E on this proximity prompt, then they'll be awarded the badge. But keep in mind, you do actually need a way for the person to get the badge so that they can actually get access to this special area. So once you've gone and finished adjusting everything, click on the X button up here next to your script, and then you're gonna go click on file and publish your game to Roblox. Now you don't have to file and publish your game to Roblox. You can test out in team test or the normal play right here, but I'm gonna do a little bit of a comparison showing you that one of my accounts does has the badge and the other account doesn't have the badge and how it actually looks. But I'm gonna go and click file and publish my game to Roblox. As you guys can see, we're now in the base play and I've got my alt account here, BGS Hatcher. Now, as you guys can see, if I go and walk into the part, we will not be able to access the part simply because we do not have the badge ready. Now, I've got my E here, which will provide me the badge. So if I go and hold down E here now, you'll be able to see that we are awarded the badge. And in less than three seconds, the door will open because the system has done a check to see if we do have the badge or not. Now, as you guys can see, if I go and try and walk here with my alt account, you'll be able to see that I can't actually walk through the part. Now. If I also get the badge on this account, then I'll be able to walk through the part. Now, also here, you're able to see if I go and use my normal account, there's no part showing, and I'm able to walk through the part where the, my alt account can't actually walk through the part. If you guys are a little bit lost, you don't really know what you're doing, feel free to create a ticket to my Discord server and we will happily help you out. But anyway, guys, I'm gonna wrap up the video here. If you did enjoy, I'd appreciate it if you do consider subscribing to the channel turning on the notification bell, and also do consider liking the video if you really did enjoy. But in a way, have a lovely rest of your day, and I'll see everyone in the next video.